sacrifice is not made when you are comfortable alone. Sacrifice is not when you are contented. Sacrifice means doing extraordinary to give extraordinary. Doing extraordinary to give extraordinary. So sacrifice is I must do it whether it's convenient or not. That is sacrifice. When you talk about vow, I, I, will, I will make pledge. Yeah, I, may, I will come and pay. That is vow. When you talk about seed, uh, whatever I have, I have 2,000. I have 3,000. Let me put it as uh, a, a apostle's feet. That is seed. When you talk about sacrifice, go extra length to give extraordinary. Sacrificial thanksgiving. That is my topic. Psalm 107, verse 21 and 22. Psalm 107, 21 and 22. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness. As the Lord be good to you. Church, are you with me? As the Lord be good to you. As he be faithful to you. That men should praise the Lord. For his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For his goodness and for his wonderful work to the children of men. And let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving. Let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his work with rejoicing not with momo i declare his work with rejoicing and not with momo the sacrifices of thanksgiving the sacrifices of thanks people complain whenever they talk about thanksgiving people are they are used to complain they used to mom they are used to murmuring whenever he talks about thanksgiving Sir, thanksgiving are not supposed to be complained of. You are not supposed to murmur at all for thanksgiving. For you to sleep and wake up, you need to thank God. Why is it that any time when it comes to the things of God, when it comes to let us appreciate God, we want thing or the other. Is it that your heart complain? Is it that your spirit react? Is it that your mouth talk? Can you give me the, next, the, 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 the previous verse 21? Oh, that men should praise the Lord for his goodness. Underline. We shouldn't be reading the Bible if I see we are reading the newspaper. For his goodness and for his wonderful works. For his goodness and for his wonderful works. A lady enter a car. And say he's going to a particular direction. Lo and behold, when you get to a level, they bail up the car and diverted the car to a place. Before you know, they blindfold her by tire her eyes. The next place he could know, he could see her, he, they were in a forest where they began to bush her. People, if as if they are cutting beef, while they were cutting people and the pass and they were shelling, they were making call. Hello, hello. You say you need super, it's ready. Hello, you say you need super, it's ready. Come now. The lady was still there. The God that saved the lady was that she has given birth, and they say no. On a bienne, my prayer for you, your blood will not be good for them to use. If your head made raw, you are the person I'm talking to. For his goodness and for his wonderful works. For his goodness and for his wonderful works. I was washing my car as Boba Slope one day. And a lady carried a load. I wanted to cross the road. He never looked. 
an oncoming vehicle with high speed no car down with the load she carry something tells me now here your member they pass every day and night now here your member they carry load they pass every day and night when they go slaughter and god has been protected them that man will praise the lord for his goodness and for his wonderful work to the children of men we should learn to thank god appreciate god for who he is sir why should you thank god thank god because you are alive there are people who climb up and they fall down and they never recover there are people who goes out and they, they never return back home thank god for who he is never let them sacrifice the sacrifice of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing not with mama Dama said can't your blessings name the world by one can't your blessings he was done has done George, can I ask you a question? There are people who went to hospital and they never recover from the sickness. There are people who were attacked and they never recover from it. God preserve your life. It deserves our thanks. It deserves our thanksgiving. We should declare his works with rejoicing and not with murmur. There are many who cross the sea and they never finish crossing the sea. They drown with the sea. There are many who went to village to go and do one thing or the other and they never recover from it. After they step to Bini, after they came back to Bini, attack came and they never recover. It was their corpse they take back to the village. Wave your hand to Jesus. Say, Lord, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Wave your hand to see Jesus and say, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Wave your hand one more time and say, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Sacrifice thanksgiving. And I said, sacrifice is not the thing you use your mind to play. It's not the thing you use your mind to, 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 to explain. I put here, thanksgiving is a combination of two words. Thanks and the giving. No Church, when you learn to thank God, it means you are telling God that your time should be full more. When you thank God for your children, the Lord spread his, his feather of protection on your children. My daughter said to me two days ago, say that they come. Do you know what I saw today? I said, What is that? Say, I have not seen such a thing. I said, What is that? He said, In our place of work today, he said, a, a, a woman gave birth to a child, and the child have no nose. He have no end nose. Say the tummy of the child swole up. Say they not refer the child to UBTH for operation. How about your own? How about your own? But when I tell you now to thank God for your children, you are complaining more more. Ikpo wosa no yime. Ikpo mi Jesus no rame yeke. Oh, wapa mi no tabe uriyo. Oh, wapa mi no tabe uriyo, Papa Jesus. Church, every genuine Thanksgiving must go along with genuine worship from the heart and with genuine thanks. Every genuine thanksgiving, sir, let it go along with genuine thanks from the heart before the giving. 
There are people they want to thank God, but they are having enemies around. They have people who they don't settle with. They have people who they have grievances with. They have people who they, who, they, who, they, who they don't greet, and they are bringing sacrifice to the church. God will accept such a sacrifice. <laughs> If you hear me say, I hear you. John chapter number 4, verse 24. The Bible says, God is a spirit. I tell them to worship God. Let them worship God in spirit and in truth. So, whatever you are bringing now, uh, I beg you. 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 So anything you are bringing to him, if you know that you have given, you have quarrel with your neighbor, with your, your 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 brother, your sister, such a sacrifice will not be accepted until you settle it out, until you settle it out, until you make an amendment before bringing the sacrifice to the church. Matthew chapter number five, twenty three and twenty four. How many of us I want our thanksgiving this year to be accepted? How many of us want our thanksgiving this year to be accepted? So do this. Matthew 5, 23 and 24. Look at this. Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar. Are you, are you listening to me? Are you watching? If thou bring thy gift to the altar, and there remember it that thy brother has all the against thee. Next verse. Leave there the gift before the altar and go thy way. First be reconciled to thy brother and then come and offer the gift. <laughs> The reason why many sacrifices and many thanksgiving are not accepted today. Oh, many of them will complain. I thank God now. Why is it happen? I thank God sometimes you came to thank God, but did God accept the thanksgiving? He's wanting to thank God. Then it's another thing for God to accept the thanksgiving. Your neighbor, you know they greet him. You they carry Bible in the morning. You you bow your children, you push your head one or two, make them go front. You don't greet your neighbor and you they come God. What God thank God. You they carry cow, they come. You they carry play every chair, they come. Can I talk to you? Can I tell you the truth? Such a gift, God will not accept. You only brought it at the altar. Pastor only rejoiced. I said, let us pray for Sister A or Brother B. But to God, it was not accepted. Look at that. Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar if you bring your gift to the altar and dear dead remember it that the brother has all the guest thing. if you remember say your brother get quarrel get problem against you he said then leave that get gift before the altar drop them there and go God, I never bring them home. I never present that to you. And they come. Then you now go back to your neighbor, to your mother, to your husband, to your people, to your church member. And settle the issue. And play with them. And let your heart be free. Many of you are complaining. We're coming to thank God. Such a thanksgiving is abolished before the Lord. If you hear me, I hear you. God is a spirit. And if you worship God, you must be in the spirit to get the spiritual and the spiritual control the physical. Thanksgiving means the ability to worship God with your tangible substance as an act of an appreciation. My daughter called me, Daddy, I will be thanking God on Sunday. I say, have you said, I say, the appreciable say, I'm aware. They are, he said, I'm aware. He went extra mile. I brought 10,000 naira to buy that chair. But if other people see complain, hey, Pastor, the Pastor, you know, no say I, I go to operation, say you know, you know, you know, use the church mind, say I don't get money. If I said, let me ask you now, pay 10 percent of the money you use for operation, would you call me evil man? 
Are you with me here? Yes, sir. Would you call me evil man? Yes, sir. I say the money you use for oppression, just give me ten percent. Will you be able? You call me evil person. It was God that preserved your life. God know that you are coming to attack him. That was why when the doctor was doing the oppression, the doctor may make mistake. The angel will correct it because the angel were there. Am I talking now? The doctor may make silly some mistake, but the angel will correct it. Why? You invited the angel that you are going to theater. So the angel went with you. Why he was doing the oppression? The angel was standing there and he was watching. I tell you now, do it like this. You do it like this. Do it like this. Before you know, everything was successful. You come out and you say, now you're by your power. Anyway, Terry. Anyway. Ability to worship God with your tangible substance as an act of appreciation. Oh Lord, I have come to thank you for helping me to go through this operation successfully. There are people who went through operation, they never recover. There are people who went through what you went through, they never recover from it. So let to thank God. If you hear me say, I hear you. Second Samuel chapter 24, verse 24 told us the exact sacrifices that David used to turn away the wrath of the Lord. George, can I talk to you? Sometimes thanksgiving can turn God's anger away from you. Did you hear me? Can I say that again? Thanksgiving can turn God's anger. God invest on you. He get what you go do for her. He go smile. He go change his mind. They said in God's case, there's no appeal. I stand here to tell you, in God's case, there is appeal. Ask me why. When God said, I'm going to destroy you, I find out the reasons why he said going to destroy you. Then when you repent from it, he will reverse his statement. When God said, I'm going to do this to you, find out what the reason when you change from it, it will reverse his statement. Look at this. And the king said unto Aruna, I will surely buy it of thee at a price. So I am not going to take it for free. Who was the king? King David. When God told David, Why did you not buy the people? I have not said to you to the people. Now that you have not bought the people, choose. Out of these three oceans, you remember, and David said three days of pestilence. Do you remember? And the Bible says more than eighty thousand people died in one day. When David saw that God was really oh, and he said, "No, what do I do? What do I do?" It was Gab, the prophet of David. Gab is called by name Gab. It was Gab that brought the news. Go and do something for the Lord. Raise an altar for the Lord. When you raise an altar for the Lord, maybe the Lord will turn the soul. And the Bible says, David went around and was looking for a place where he can build an altar for the Lord. Where he can raise an altar for the Lord. And the Bible says, David came to Aruna and said, No, I see, you see, you see, Aruna said, That's your plot. I need that one. Aruna said, No, King David, as far as you are, you need it. I am going to give you for free. I dash you. And King David said, No, Otto Aruna, me. That is no. I will surely buy it at the price. I am going to buy it with the price you gave to me. I am not going to reassure you. In fact, I want I don't I will not give to God the thing that is not costly. Neither will I offer both offering unto the Lord my God of that we do cost me nothing. We are talking about sacrifice. Sacrificial thanksgiving. I will not give to God anything that it does not cost me nothing. In fact, anything that I got cheap that is not cost, I will give to God. So I'm going to give to God that that cost me. Even though it cost me the whole of my boss, I am going to give to God. When you read that, the Bible says, when, when David finished buying the blood, and David said, God, that I bought that place, I bought the land. So I am going to raise an altar for you in that place. I'm going to build an altar for you in that place. And God smiled. He said, Okay, David, 
This is the one. I've already 80,000 people is already gone. Say tomorrow and next tomorrow. I have forgiven you. Nobody will die. That is the death in the land of Israel. So when your sacrifice is genuine, when you give God what touch his heart, he turned away his rock from your family. Are you with me? Are you still with me? There are many of us. Let me. They say that Thanksgiving. Let me tell you. They say that Thanksgiving. Let me be editing. Where person die? Let me tell you. Thank God. I overheard one of my daughters say something like that in this church. She spoke in an error. Malachi chapter one, verse six to eight. That woman spoke in an error. Now wait till you get. Now you want to thank God. So you didn't you take God for granted. So you feel that God is your mate. You feel that God is your husband. You cannot even tell your husband, say any food where you like, then you will give her. How much more almighty God? Can you tell your husband that word? Say anything where I get now, I'll give you. If the man is the type that has no patient, he will match you to do that. He will turn you to bossing her. Am I talking now? The woman said, No, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, I get, I want to thank God. I overlook her, I just turn away my face. Lord, have mercy on this woman because she does not know what she's saying. You cannot give to God anything you like, it's an error, it's a negative word. So, if I'm saying he repent, how can you give to God what you like? So, it means God has no choice. So God is not a beggar. It's only a beggar I know in our land that has no choice. Even some level of beggar has choice. Am I talking now? Even some level of beggar in this time have choice. You carry a cloth giver, so the cloth, some tears, some tears, some tears, he will look the cloth and say, Madam, I can't go. I mean, not so. He's supposed to be the one that will accept anything that comes. But to an extent, a level of beggar in our nation has a level. Put it together. Malachi 1 6. A son honored his father and a servant his master. If then I be a father, where is my honor? So the honor of Papa, servant the honor his master. If God are your father, where is his honor? And if I be a master, where is my fear? If I am your master, why don't you fear me? Why don't you take instruction? Why don't you obey me whenever I speak? Says the Lord of hosts unto you, O priests, that despise my name and say, Where have we despised the name? You spoil my name, you talk anyhow, you talk what at me, and you say, Where have we despoiled your name? Ye offer polluted bread upon my altar. Polluted bread that is bread where you know, say when you give evil beggar, it won't accept the gift that you know that when you even give your co neighbor, it won't accept. Although he may accept, he will complain. Am I talking now? If such a gift you are packaging it and you say you are giving it to God, you have disrespect God and you have put God into the list of man. Are you with me? You have put God into the list of man. And yes, say, you offer polluted bread upon my altar. And yes, say, wherein have we polluted it? You are also complaining. Now you spoil something. See the complain. Where have I spoiled? He said, that yes, say, the table of the Lord is contented. You don't say many times like that. The Lord of Thanksgiving, you say, ah, many kind of men, many kind of women in the house, many kind of people in the church. Ah, these two years, not see Thanksgiving, not see yam, not see six bag of rice. Now you have to do Thanksgiving for next year, next year ending. Pastor, no, you're hungry. Pastor has no food for food. Happy? Anytime you say, more go there, mommy go there, as more go there, more go eat for your neck. That is carnality. You said the table of the Lord is contented. Contentable. You said the table of the Lord is already freed up. That is carnality. 
carnality. Uh, pastor, you, you don't do Thanksgiving. You know, who is that you do Thanksgiving? Last two weeks. He wants to go give her a, a, a Christmas gift. Uh, now you know, now you get now. Pastor, know whether they eat. So all these words are recorded. The Bible says in the book of Matthew, say any vain word that you speak, say you shall give account on the judgment day. Sometimes we talk anyhow, we talk at a point, all in the name of say what now now where my way one. May they say I talk. You don't know how to respect grace. If you don't know how to respect grace, the same grace can bring disgrace. If you hear me say I hear you. If you don't know how to respect grace, the same grace can bring disgrace. If you say that I go out of Zaya for Bible, Second Chronicle 26, out Zaya. Uzziah thought that because they are right, that his pastor is, is, uh, is it not Zachariah now, that there's no, no more, is no more, no be pastor again. He level don't have pastor. It's one of Zachariah. Is it Zachariah now? That anytime he want to, anytime he want to, he want to, he want to, he slept and he got to a dream, he would talk to the pastor. But now he don't get money, he don't blow. I know he don't be big politician for town. So he res disrespect pastor. Pastor fall down. One day, the Bible says Uzziah who was a king his duty in a king there is difference between king and priest priest stand on the altar king are seen in the palace you left your palace and come to the altar to burn his saint. the duty will not be your own when the man of God correct you the Bible says the man look at the man of God he was angry how dare you talk to me how dare you correct me and the man of God for that and not talk immediately. The Bible says leprosy came out of his forehead, Boa. right there, and he fell down. And the Bible says he died as a leprosy, and he was taken to where they bury evil people. So when you think that you have arrived, that nobody talked to you, when you think that you have you have two hundred thousand or one million in your account, that your pastor have no fifty thousand, that he cannot talk to you, it's very soon. That same, this, that same grace will disgrace you. Be very careful. Tell somebody say, be careful. Tell somebody say, be careful. Yes. Many people complain. Verse 8. He said, now, he said, and if ye offer the blind for sacrifice, is it not evil? And if ye offer the lame or, and sick, is it not evil? Offer it now unto the governor. Will he be pleased with it? Or accept the person, says the Lord. So time ago, all of them came for Thanksgiving. They line up. They brought a sacrifice to the altar. While I was standing, the Spirit of God said, Tell that person to open. Why will you bring your sacrifice in black rubber back? Black line up. Sister, within days, open up. Open up. She was ashamed. To open the black line on she brought to church. That is before God, oh, not master, not pastor. Before God, everybody brought a sacrifice openly, but you tie your own in black line on. I say, sister, by the special grace of God, I am reprised here. I say, open the cellophane. When he opened the cellophane, it was right plantain, it was already black, spoiled plantain. He tied it as cellophane and dropped it at the altar. On your own, you know whether it was blessed or it was the cause. Look at it. If you offer the blind sacrifice, the blind for sacrifice, or is it not evil? You go to market, you see sand goat, you see sand ram, you see sand cow, you went and tell the mala. Now that one we get one eye, now one buy because now it's itch, now it's cheap. Now that one we know they work out well. And then the guy they come for not. They come sit down on top of your leg. So you call this looking leg, you know they work out well. Then you want to thank God. God said, I should ask you, offer all these things to your governor. You say, will he be pleased with it? That is your governor. If he's not pleased with it, how dare you 
open your eyes to bring the sacrifice that your governor will not accept that your father will not accept and you bring it before the lord my prayer for you at the end of this thanksgiving you will go home with blessing you will not go home with a curse if your amen is loud you are the person i'm talking to this is to say thanksgiving is not complete without genuine worship and sacrifice genuine worship and sacrifice I want to brother, I want to thank you today, Daddy. And uh, what did God do for me? I said, Can I tell me now? He will not talk story, 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 he will not talk story. And at the end, go say, Church, join me to share several heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You want to tear the speaker? You want to tear the speaker, B? There is difference between testimony and thanksgiving understand are we together there's difference between testimony and thanksgiving we are talking about thanksgiving we are talking about thanksgiving thanksgiving is to worship god with your body with your money and other material things john chapter 11 and verse 2 the bible says there was a man who sorry there was a woman named mary who poured an ointment upon the lost feet and wiped the feet with the hair of her head do we have nlt in that place okay nlt say this is the mary who's let her pour oil sorry this is the mary who later pour the expensive perfume on the lost feet and wipe them with her hair our brother lazarus was sick an expensive perfume an expensive perfume an expensive perfume the disciples of jesus the disciple of jesus called judah is carrot when he saw he just come he, he know very well he this perfume where this woman pour for lost feet now he can't waste her ah ideal this woman you know get says if for carry the perfume seller dash the money to the poor jesus told and I said judah is carrot now you talk this one leave this woman alone judah is carrot he said come on the poor we always remain with you so that means the poor will never finish. Say, little Suma, he has come to do his own anointing. Every other one that came did their own anointing, but this one came to do this anointing, anointing at the right time. That was the last anointing Jesus received before he went to grave. So that was why Jesus valued it. An expensive. An expensive perfume. How many of us will do that? You can't wait it here. Say, I'm going to thank God. Now, people, where you vet there, now you go fake or play. He, that's a pastor. No wonder. You know, see, Clotho is just here. Now, bless us. This man, he, he only use the money, the better. Brother, <laughs> everything get principal. I have labored for it. I am God's priest. So I represent God. So anything that comes, I am going to give account to the Lord. I, I use them. Two of us. Not be your own. Not your own. Ah! This woman would have, he would have, he would have said. Say this anointing, this perfume, as you the feed the poor. Jesus rebuke her, rebuke him. Judas Kano, shut up. This is what you do with me. You never make any part. So this will come now. Sometimes your sacrifice can cancel your sin. This is the Mary who later poured the expensive perfume on the lost feet and wiped there with her hair. Ah, 
brother Lazarus was sick and expensive and expensive when you talk about giving when you talk about sacrifice I know those who wholeheartedly go extra to make sure God is happy my father the Lord once said he said in every church you have 20 percent of people working every other 80 percent of them are those who are clapping some of them are watching may your name be among the 20. Yeah. if your amen is loud you are the person i'm talking to yeah. may your name be among the 20. Yeah. in the name of jesus christ some of us we conclude god never i don't say god trash at least i i sleep i wake up now nah, now nah something i be at, at least eh, my children my children eh, none of it they are complete now something can i talk to you the breath of your nose how many of us don't reach hospital one day if you know so you you don't reach hospital. You don't see person with a face oxygen for your head. No, it's make I see. No wonder many of you not value God. You know that this God, it get away today. To be frank, sir, death is not far. It is God that is mercy that is protecting us. Many years ago. To be precisely 2000, we we'll just enter millennium. I was working with one chief. He was done. He was sick. One day he came out from the office. I talk about. He say God. He say he called me. He say let us go to UBTH. So he entered the car. I drove him through medical store road, through medical school road like that like that we found our way to ubt so i was sitting there inside the car waiting it was doctor that came in and said are you the driver of social super i said yes uh he said that you cannot come here he said i should go the man don't die i said what are you saying the man he said yes ah when i got there i follow when i got there i discovered that the man is lifeless and oxygen is his nose that was how I lost him. Alaji Musa Ivato. That was the first time I saw oxygen. That was the first time I saw people dragging. When you when you were about to give up between like you drag, you fight. Those of us. I see yet we don't value it. Look at me. For one hour. To fix oxygen for one hour, give you six thousand. Maybe they'll tell you, Madam, now three hours or four hours that you use. Are you with me? If you don't think that this God is faithful, don't just think about good thing next year because it is what you plant now that will speak for you next year. Then let us check it for 24 hours. 6,000 naira size 24. It gives you 144,000. Just for 24 hours. That you are in oxygen for 24 hours. Or your neighbor is, is in oxygen for 24 hours. For one month, which is 30 days, give you 4,320,000 for one month. But this is what God is giving us for free. And we don't value it. For one month. Three, four million three hundred and twenty thousand. And if they call you, you can calculate how much they do Thanksgiving for the year. You say twenty thousand. You say hey, you are your opponent. I better not be so. Then you begin to tell yourself, I try 20,000 naira, I mean, my family to do Thanksgiving. Out of 4,320,000. It means you are still ungrateful. For six months, give you 25,920,000. I <laughs> Can 
Can I ask a question? How many years you did now? Now six months you did. Now six months you did. Okay, now one year you did. Okay, how much have you give this God? He got to look at me. SMA Yaposa. He knows who look at me. SMA Yaposa. A pobre, a pobre, a pobre, a pobre, a pobre, a For one year is fifty one million eight hundred and forty thousand for one year. Fifty one million. If you use one million, they do task given for one day. Look at that. God bless you. Look at that million. For many of us who have not seen it, look at it. This is how it is between life and death. Look at that. Between life and and death. So, if you are not thankful, it means you are ungrateful. If you are not thankful, it means you are ungrateful. So, in case you say God has not been faithful to you, in case you say God has not done you well, Look at people. They never know whether they have millions now. They never know whether they have money in bank accounts. Shall we stand on our feet?